Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Hello. It was good. Very good. Nice. It's Thursday. We are almost finishing the week. Yes. Finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Time flies really fast. So we are almost finishing the week and we're almost finishing the year as well. So that's good. So we're almost in Christmas. You like Christmas? Yes, I like Christmas. Okay, very good. But with my pets, it's impossible to put the tree Christmas tree. I had a Christmas tree. <laughs> they do a mess. <laughs> yes, it's a pee, pee room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hello, Mauricio. Good evening. Good evening, Sofia. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Dagoberto. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Great. I'm not. Good. New, a new kid on the class. Oh, you're the new kid in the class? Yes. You weren't here yesterday? No, I I don't come to... No, I don't came. I didn't. No. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay. All right, so welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Good evening, Hello. Irvin. Good evening. Hi, Hi Mauricio. Hello, how are you? Very good, how are you? Fine, thanks. Great, great. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. Good. Good evening, Irvin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good, teacher. Great. That's nice. Hello, Vanessa. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Nice. Hi, Dolores. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Very good. We have Monica. Good evening. I think you're in mute, Monica, if you're speaking. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I have very bad signal today. Oh, really? By connection? So I'm going to turn off the camera. Okay, that's fine. No worries. Very good. Sure. I think we... Yes? I have very bad internet right now. Oh, really? That's bad. Yeah, I heard very bad connection right now. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Rafael. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Very good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Great. Nice. And Crisia, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Great. That's good. And we have Alexander. Hi, Alexander. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm very good. I'm very good. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you to all. Yes. Nice to see you all, too. That's good. All right. So I think we have uh, most of you. So we're going to start. So welcome back to uh, uh, second class for Intermediate 1. Uh, this Thursday, we're going to uh, continue learning. And the first thing we're going to do, it's the, uh, we're going to practice what we studied yesterday. Do you remember what we studied yesterday? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. The past verb. 
exactly, the past tense. So that's what we're going to practice right now. And uh, the first thing we're going to do, it's uh, it, the last thing we, we saw yesterday, it was the making questions, WH questions, and uh, GS no questions with the simple past. So I want you to do three questions right now. Uh, make one question, one yes, no question, and two WH questions. If you want, write them down in your notebook or in your cell phone or whatever you are taking notes. Uh, and make three questions. I'm going to give you one minute so you can fin finish them up. Once you're you are done, please let me know. Just tell me, teacher, I'm done. Or teacher, I finished. If you don't remember how to make the questions, uh, please let me know. So I can refresh you about It's one WH question and two, I'm sorry, one yes, no question and two WH questions. And the WH questions we had are what, where, why, how, which. So you can use one of those. Excuse me, teacher, uh, we have to make three questions. Yes. Uh, one, one about, uh, uh, what, uh, one question using WH word, brother. Uh, two, two questions with two. the WH. Ah, okay. Yes. And one with a just not question. Ah, okay, thank you. So let me know once you're done. Okay, very good. We had Yolanda. If you have a question, please let me know. If you don't remember how to make the question, please let me know so I can help you out. Let me know once you're finished. I finished. Okay, very good. Finish. Okay, thank you, Irvin. I finished too. Okay, very I good. I finished. Great. So for the ones that just join, uh, we are making three questions. It's one yes, no questions and two WH questions, okay? We're writing them down those questions right now. You finished, Chrissy? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more minute. And once uh, that minute ends, we're gonna make groups and we're gonna say and make those questions with the team uh, that you will have with your, your classmates that you're gonna be in the room. Uh, I want you to make the questions. Uh, ask the three questions to the people that you're gonna be in and uh, expect an answer from them. Try to provide as much information as you can if it's a WH question and 
if it's a yes no question as well, you can make a long answer. The purpose here is that we practice as much as we can. Okay. Teacher. Hi. Hi, good evening, teacher. Um, today is my first class with you. Okay. Um, I want to. I want to be able um, to be the to be the world class because my back hurts. Um, okay. From sitting, from sitting for a long time. Okay. I will only um thirty minutes. Uh, In the class. Time. Yes. Okay. All right. That's fine. No worries, okay. Rosario. Thank you. Sure. Okay. So we're gonna make the groups right now, and if you haven't finished, well, you can make up the question there. All right. So we're gonna. Uh, make the groups right now and please speak as much as you can. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Just let me make this. Okay. All right. So we're going to go and please uh, click on the bottom that you were going to see there. So please join to the to the groups. Please join to the groups. I think we're missing uh, Sofia, Dolores, and Monica. Uh, click there where it says join to the to the group, please. Sophia, could you enter to the entrar al grupo, Sofia? Okay. Then the I I listen that the we need to we need to do three mm -hmm. questions. Two mm -hmm. questions using double double edge question and one question using uh, just no question. Uh short answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. And two question uh WA. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. We, with WH, I have two. Okay. What are your plans for next year? Say it again. What are what are your plans for next year? Okay, but that's a, uh, for future. You should be in the past. Yeah. Ah, WH, but in past. In past, yes. Remember, we are practicing uh, the past, yes. Yeah. So, for example, you can say, what did what you did do? did your father? Exactly. What did your father do for his last birthday okay um, but make the question to one of your classmates there okay so you have noemi mauricio rosario elvis so choose one um, mauricio uh, when did you go to the, the gym the gym when did you when did i when i i, I can hear you when, when when did I go to the gym? Yes, that's what you said. Ah, well, uh, uh, yes. I didn't go to the gym. Uh, I I I'm I'm I do exercise. I did. I did. I did exercise and uh, running, running or doing an exercise here in in in, in at home. Very good. Uh -huh. 
Okay, now you, Mauricio, make the question to someone else. Okay. Uh, Noemi. You hate me, Mauricio. Okay. Uh, what did you do? What did you do today? Very good. Uh, today I worked. Uh, I worked all day. Uh, in the morning, I filled some reports and I had a meeting with my boss. Ah, okay. Very good. And your work and and your work is uh, uh, at home, or you have to you have to go to the your 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 work or you have to go to ah, work uh, i work uh in the uh -huh. uh yeah no but i, but... I don't work uh, at home at home ah, okay okay very good so please keep keep practicing and uh i'll kind of take you out in a moment so keep talking okay Elvis. Yo no. Y dos preguntas con WH question. Vean. Yes. Eh, That's correct. Eh, ya hizo las suyas, Luis. Okay. Voy, a, voy yo ahorita, voy a preguntar a hacer las mías. Ok. Eh, did you come to class yesterday, María? Oh, no está María, creo. Eh, Dolores sería entonces. Did you come to class yesterday? Did you come to class? Dolores, can you hear us? Luis, entonces. Yes, ask to, ask to Luis. Come the. Did, did you come to class yesterday? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, era. Okay. yes, great. That's correct. Yes, Very good. Yes, I did. Yes, correct. Yes, yes correct. Okay. Yes. What What did you um, What did you do uh, yesterday at seven o'clock, seven p.m. <laughs> or not? Or not? Uh, what did you do yesterday at eight o'clock at, at, at eight p.m.? What do you do, Luis? What did you do? What did you, what did you do? Sorry. Yesterday at, at seven p.m. At eight p.m. Uh, I. I was. Okay. I was in my in the traffic. Oh. At seven, <laughs> yes, in the traffic. Okay, <laughs> very good, great job. So please keep practicing, and I'm gonna take you out from the groups in a moment. So keep practicing. Okay, okay. Uh, next. Okay, yes, teacher. The other question. Where were you born? I I was born in San Salvador. Very good. I have a question. Hi. I have a question. Uh, tell I me. I was born in San Salvador. When I talk about to set up a tree, a Christmas tree. Uh huh. In past is the same. Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Set Those up. are the, the irregular verbs. Right. So okay. set up. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did you already install your, your Christmas tree? Yes. You did? <laughs> good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Christmas starts from no in November. I love <laughs> Christmas. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right. Keep practicing. Okay. Uh, how about Sophia? Where were you born? 
Uh, I was born in Aguachapan. I live in Aguachapan. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. What did you do, Yolanda, the last night? Right. Uh, I read a book. Uh, okay. Very good. Me? I studied English. You were Rafael. What did you do last night? I studied English. Really? I studied. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they went to class. <laughs> Richard, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what is the best way? Uh, what did you do the last night or, or what did you do last night? You can use both. Uh, remember that like the thing is that when you say the last night is you are like making it in Spanish. I mean, okay. it's understandable. Uh, if you say that to a, a person from the United States, uh, he's going to understand you. But uh, the best way to say it will be uh, what did last you do night. last night? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good. And you, Alexander, what do you do last night? Something good, funny. You're mute, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was resting. I was resting at home. Very good. Great. You rest at home. Okay. Very my, good. My question. Go ahead. When did you eat pizza? Who are you making the question to? To me? Um, Yolanda. Oh, okay. I uh, ate pizza uh, last uh, weekend. Very good. Great job. So keep practicing and I'm gonna take you out in the group in a moment, okay? So keep practicing. Okay. okay. Alexander? You, Vanessa? Uh, no, I didn't watch the movies, so movies. Um, I don't remember when. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for you. I'm sorry? If I'm for you, the same question that you make. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. I think you're talking about talking to me. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. The last time I saw a movie was yesterday. Uh, at night, uh, it was um, uh, Schindler's List. I don't know if you have you have saw that movie. What was? It's about the Second World War. Hey? Schindler's War. List. Uh, That's the name no, of the I movie. Never. I never heard uh, yes. of that movie. It's a very good movie. You must yeah. watch that movie. Good. And what was the part of the movie that you liked more? You liked the most. Uh, the, you liked the most, sorry. I think that it was the, the last part because um, the man who, who provide with jobs to the Jews in that, in that time, he saved too many lives. Oh. Oh, it's interesting. Very good. I can't remember. Yeah, what there was my woo, the movie that I saw there for the last time ago. Um, I mean, well, when when was the last time you you watch a movie? Uh, I be saying uh, the guys that was uh, maybe around two years that I two didn't years? see a movie. Yeah, because the last year I becoming as a mother, so you okay. don't have time to do nothing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, 
My baby. Uh, you are too there. busy with your baby. Yeah. Okay, that that's understandable. <laughs> the baby we have, so yeah. But I remember there was someone of the Bruce Will, Bruce William, Bruce Will. I don't know. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, yeah. Okay. Was duro de matar. Oh. I don't know what is the translation in English. If I'm not mistaken, it's like hard, hard die. Uh, so, yeah, hard, hard die. Like hard yeah. Die. Hard, yeah. Was the the last the fourth movie that that he have about this hard to die with the son that go to Russia and kill everybody and make <laughs> all this action part. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. yeah. Great. Good. Very good job, team. So we're gonna go back to the to the class. So let me get everybody back here. Okay. So in fifteen seconds. Okay, so uh, I guess we're missing some people. Um, they're still on the, okay, we have them here right now. Very good. Okay, so uh, great job. Uh, I, I, I went to all of the, of, the, of the rooms and very good. You did great. There are some things that we need to still work in, but you got the idea. And the best thing here is that you speak. That's the best thing. I mean, if you're speaking, then you got it because that's everything about English. If you want to learn to speak English, you just have to speak. That's it. No be afraid uh, to make mistakes because we all do mistakes and that's the way we're going to learn. So great job. Very good. Super good. All right. So we're going to um, start now with a new topic. So let me share here um, the screen. Just give me one second. Okay, just let me put this here. Hancock. You remember the that's, that movie, Hancock? It's Hancock. The, the William Smith. Uh -huh. He says. I he says all the time, ah, good job, good job. Good job. <laughs> good job, good job. Yeah. No, and you're doing a good, a good job. That, ah, that's that's good for job. sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. So let's go here and we're going to check this. And just let me share my screen with you. Um, since we were checking yesterday the simple past, let me ask you one more time. Do you have questions on regard the simple past or it's everything clear so far? No, I think it's clear. Okay. Very good. Okay, so right now we're gonna see the, um, we're still checking the simple past, but now we're gonna see it with the verb so do you remember about the verb B? Do you? Okay. Yes. Can you tell me what are the, the, um, the auxiliary verbs or the verbs that we use for the verb B? There are three. Was, where? Okay. That's in past, but is in present. R, is exactly. R. Is R and? And. M. 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 Exactly. Am, um, is, and are. That's correct. So 
and this is what we uh, like the first thing we learned when we start uh, to learn English. The first thing we saw it was the verb be. And we had am, is, and are. And you remember that we use it with I, we use am. For is, we use he, she, and it. And for are, we use we, you, and they. So we're going to talk about this verb be, but now in past. And as Rafael said, now we're going to have just two verbs. Can you say it again, Rafael? What are those verbs? Is, are. No, in past. I ah, in past, was, were. <laughs> exactly, very good. So those are the things that we're gonna see now. It's was and where. So first of all, and just to remember as well, eh, what do we use the verb be for? Para que usamos el verbo to be, the verb be. What do we use it for? Ser estar. Okay, yes. To talk about ser o estar. That's correct. So, uh, if we use it for that, then in past, we're going to talk about the things that donde estuvimos o lo que fuimos. All right? And... I'm sorry? For uh, pr uh, present continuous or continuous present? Yes, we we were gonna use it for the for the present continuous. Uh, yes, we, we will use it. Actually, it's gonna be for the past continuous, but we're gonna see it later. Right now, we're just gonna see the verb being past. So we use was and we use where. Um, for was, we're gonna use it I, she, she, and it, and for where, we're gonna use we, you, and they. And if you want to make it easier, we're going to use was for singular and we're going to use where for plural. So that's the way that you have to check. Yes. So was for singular and where for plural. So if we're talking about one person, then we're going to use was. If we're going to talk about three persons, then we're going to use where. Okay. Questions on that? Nope. No, okay. no, no. All right. So here we have the verb being passed. So we're going to see the positive and negative statements, how we can use it. And we have here, we're going to use the subject. It could be I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. We're going to use the verb be in past. It would be was or where and a compliment. So we have an example here. I was in class yesterday night. Let's say, um, Chrisia, can you give me an example, a positive statement example using was or where? Chrisia? In past. Yes, using was or where? I was at the job all day. I was? Um, at job, uh, at, at work. Okay, I was at work all day. All day. Very good. That's I good. was busy today. Very good. Great, Evis. I was busy. Every uh, the whole day. One more. Someone I was else? driving all the time. I was. I was driving. Okay. Uh -huh. I was driving. I was driving uh -huh. okay. uh, for one hour. Okay. Very good. I was driving for an hour. I was driving a whole day. Good. Luis. Um. Uh, they were in my house. Uh, okay. Past they, month. Okay. They were in my house last month. Good. Last Monday. Last Monday. Last Monday. Okay. Good. Very good. Alexander.
Um, I'm not ready. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's Let fine. Let me think about it. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Yolanda. I was born in Santa Tecla. Very good. Great. Very good. Now, in negative. In negative is the same. Uh, the only thing is that you're going to add either our N apostrophe T or not. So you will say a subject, then where or was uh, using N apostrophe in T or not, and then a complement. And we have an example here. You weren't or you were not in class mm -hmm. yesterday night. Or you can say, I wasn't at home yesterday. All right. Mm -hmm. Rafael, one more example. In negative. I, I was not in Roberto house. Very good. Noemi. My sister was not in a date last weekend. Okay. My sister was not where? In a date. Oh, in a date. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Great. Dagoberto. Uh, I wasn't in class yesterday. Great. Uh, Rosario. Not and in the beach poo poo the last weekend. Very good. Irving. My parents weren't born in Costa Rica. Very good. Great. Nice. Very good. So this is verb B in past using negative and positive statements. Any questions so far? No? No. Okay. Oh. No. No. Very good. Now the questions. So the same you as... Can... The... Yes? Uh, you can use what and where in, in a question in yes. WH question? We yeah. can, yes, definitely. And that's what we're gonna see right now. Um, we use just Wait. no questions. Uh, I'm sorry? Okay. All right, so yes, we can use the just the, the was and where in a just no question and a WH question. And it's pretty simple. Um, it's like we did the just no questions for the past tense that we use did. Uh, in this case, we're going to use was or where. Then we use the subject and then we use a complement. Okay. Were you at school last weekend? And with the WH question, you do the same. You add a WH question, was and where, plus the subject and the complement. Where was he at 10 o'clock last night? All right. So let's see, Vanessa. I just no question. Okay. Um, just no question. Mm -hmm. Teacher, sorry. I see in the but my back is uh, hard. It's okay. Much. Sure. Uh, I see you on the on Monday. On the Monday, yes. Okay, sure. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Okay. Go ahead, um, then. were you at the gym last night? Very good. Karina. Where were you last night? Great. Uh, Dolores. She was the one that left. Okay. Uh, Selena. Uh, was she at a um, restaurant last weekend? Very good. Great. 
Uh, Alexander. Where were you go for dinner yesterday? Mm, where were you go? Where were you go for dinner yesterday? Mm, no, if, if you will say that, then you're going to use the past. To say, where did you go? Where did you go? Uh -huh. uh, but so, in this case, uh, in this structure, how can I say uh, where instead of was, I use where, where, yeah. mm -hmm. where, where, mm -hmm. or not? Yes, the thing is that uh, para decir eso, uh, that you were or to ask where, a donde estuviste o a donde fuiste, uh, we have to use, for example, here, uh, if you say, where were you go? Uh, that's not correct. Tiene que ser, where did you go? Where did you go? Uh -huh. Where did you go yesterday? Or, or what uh, restaurant did you go yesterday? In this case, was and where, it's to ask para donde estuviste? Eh, o, donde, o quien fuiste? Something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can you can you make another question? Um, where um, no, I uh, I don't got it. Okay. Uh, so for example, you can say um, a where. Where were you um, last weekend? Donde estuviste la semana pasada o el fin de semana pasado? O también utilizando yes no question, podría ser como eh, Were you at the concert yesterday? Estuviste tú en el concierto eh, ayer? Eh, pero en el caso de la pregunta que yo quería hacer, ¿dónde, dónde estuviste para la cena ayer? Eh, si, simplemente where were you for dinner yesterday. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. Eh, es correcto. Yes, where were you for dinner yesterday? Yes. Ah, Porque okay. Lo, lo que sí no puede hacer es como where were you go? Ahí sí ya no. Porque no se puede unir where. Ah, sí, go. sí. Uh -huh. Pero where okay. were you for dinner yesterday? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. It's correct to say why were you in the police station yesterday? Or where were you at the police station yesterday? I am confused on this. If you were inside of the of the police station, then it's in. Okay. But if you were like in front, then you can say at. At. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. So, do you have questions so far? Preguntas in how to make WH questions. No. No. Nope. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, the pronunciation, the, the, for example, we're, we're where we, uh, last year is correct. We're where, we're where. No, it should be where, where. So it's the same. Uh, like where, 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 you. Where were you uh, where or where you? were we? Okay, where mm. were, okay, okay. Yeah. Where were we? Where were. Mm. Okay, where were we? Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? The same, where were. Yes, where and where are the yes. same? In the pronunciation, pronunciation right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, now we're going to practice this. Uh, I want you to help me completing uh, this uh, conversations. If you want, we're gonna do it uh, individually so uh, everybody can practice and then we can check it out. So I'll give you um, five minutes right now so you can complete this. What you're gonna use is was and where. 
that's all what you're going to use. If you want, so you don't copy everything, just write, for example, for letter A, the first letter A, just was or where in your notebook. So then we can check it out together. Si quieren, no lo copien todo, sino que solamente mm -hmm. escriban was or where, dependiendo de la respuesta que quieran para cada espacio, para que no les tome tanto tiempo escribirlo todo. Okay. Okay, you have one more minute. Okay. Okay, so let's start to um, figure it out this exercise. So I'm gonna be uh, mentioning your name. So you start um, reading it and then provide the answer for the exercise, okay? So let's start here with uh, Mauricio. Can you do the first one? Okay. Uh, how old was... Uh, was he 10 or 11? Very good. Good job. Rafael, can you do the next one? When was Susan's baby born? Very good. Luis, next. Uh, in what season? Mm -hmm. uh, where? They born. Good. That's correct. Alexander, next. Mm -hmm. They were not born in the spring, I'm sure. Very good. Noemi, next. Noemi? Letter D, right? Yes, letter E. Um, I'm sorry, yes, letter E. E or D? E, Uncle Tom. Okay. Um, Uncle, Uncle Tom? was not at home yesterday evening. Very good, great. Irving, next. Bob was at the beach with his friends. They were all very happy. Very good, excellent. Yolanda. Uh, where were you at 11 o'clock? Great. Dagoberto. I think you're on mute. Where, where, <laughs> where was Shirley 
last Saturday. Great, Vanessa. She was at the stadium. Very good. Um, Karina. Were you there too? I'm sorry? Can you say it again? Were you there too? Good. Crisia. No, I was at home, thank you. Very good. Elvis, next. Yes, uh, my brother, my sister, and I was at the exhibition. Okay, one more time. My brother, Miss, my my brothers, my sister, and I uh -huh. was at the exhibition. Okay, is that correct? No, no, no teacher. Why not? No. It's where it's plural. It's plural. Yeah, plural. it's plural. Exactly. Because we're talking about my brothers, my sisters, uh, yeah. and I. So say okay. it again, Elvis. Okay, my brother, me, sister, my, and my I sister. were, and my sister, and I were at the exhibition. 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 Very good. Great. Um, I think Maria is not here. Maria, you here? Okay, Sofia. Hello. I don't know where my brother Jim was. Uh, no, it's the letter A, by the way. Ah, by the way. <laughs> where? Was your brothers? Uh, your brothers. Mm -hmm. You sure? Where, 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 where your brothers? Because it's plural. Yes, that's brothers. correct. Where were your brothers that day? Um, <laughs> Selena? I don't know where my brother Jim was. Mm -hmm. He was at home with me, but the others. Uh, but the others? Where? Okay. He said he was at home with me, but the others? Weren't. weren't. Yes, that's correct. Weren't. Good job. That's good. Pretty good. So any questions so far with the uh, verb being passed? No. No. Okay. So now we're going to do a game. We have just five minutes. Um, this is called an alibi. Do you know what is an alibi? No. Nope. Okay. No. no. Alibi means cuartada. Do you know what is a cuartada? Do you know what is a cuartada? Yes. 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 An excuse. Yes. Yes, exactly. It's like an excuse. Uh, when, whenever it happened, this, for example, a crime happens. So the investigators, they go and ask you questions to see what happened, see what's going on. So that's where we're going to see uh, right now. Um, there was a crime in the city yesterday and the prime suspects are a group of students from the intermediate one. So the police have to investigate. So this is what we are going to do. There was a crime and the prime suspects are you. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna break out in rooms and you have to think about an alibi. So think about an excuse. And then I'm gonna go to your rooms and I'm gonna ask you the questions. I'm gonna be the uh, investigator. So think about your cuartada. Donde estaba? Que estaba haciendo? Make sure that you convince me that you are not the crimes. Okay? So let me break out the rooms here. Remember to use simple past and use was and where. Okay? Esos dos son los que tienen que utilizar. Simple past, was and where. All right? So let's go. 
So accept the invite and start joining your groups. So accept your So accept your invitations please so you can get into a room Selena to this At home. Hello. 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 So here I come with the questions. Let's see. Hmm. Crisia, where were you? Where were you on November first? On November first. November first. Yes. Where were you? Um, I was up at work. Okay. Hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Mm, okay. I'm gonna believe you. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see, Noemi. Did you see the crime scene? No, I didn't know uh, the crime scene. Are you sure? Where were you that day? Where were you on November first? On oh, November first, I oh. worked all day. Okay. And what did you do at work? Um, I got up early and okay. I took a bus around to around 6 a.m. Because okay. I start my work at 7, 15 a.m. Okay. And when I finished my, my work schedule, uh -huh. I came back home mm. and I took a rest for two hours, and then I watch TV. Good, that was a good alibi. Everything, there's no room, so I can I can suspect about you. You told me everything, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Mauricio. Yeah. Were you with your family on November 1st? November 1st? Your face. Uh, well, I, I rest, I was sick. I rest oh. all the time. Oh. Uh, I stay in, in at home and okay. I, I rest all the time because mm. I have a COVID. Uh, okay. 19. What about at 6 p.m.? At 6 p.m. Where were you at 6 p.m.? Here at home, the drink uh, I was took uh, I took. I, I took. I took the the cup of tea with my wife mm, at okay. that time. All right, I'm gonna believe you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> right, Elvis. Let's see, Elvis. What do you do on November first? On November first, I went to the work. Okay. Where is your work? I sorry. Where is your work? Where do you work? Um at uh 
doing uh, did the the report. I doing the report every day. Okay, so you did you did a report? Yeah. Okay, very good. I believe you. That's good. Okay, Judith, <laughs> did you saw? Did you saw? Is that correct? Did you saw? Is it correct? No. What's the correct one? Did you see? Did you see? Very good. Judith, did you see the crime scene? Judith? Who's Judith? Hello. Ah, so Judith was the crime in the crime scene. Ah, you were the one. <laughs> no. so we find it. We find it. She was. She don't have an uh, answer. No, I weren't. <laughs> I weren't. Okay, where I were promise. you November 1st? <laughs> well, November 1st, I was working. I was at the office. Okay. Very yeah. good. All right. I'm going to believe you. All right. So this group <laughs> is not the one. <laughs> All right, very good. So I think we're gonna uh, go back because we are over with the time. Um, so let me, let's go back now. Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was on mute. Okay, uh, we need more information because we don't have uh, the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and actually, um, we're gonna we're gonna continue with this on Monday uh, because I wanna. I just was able to go to one group. Um, I'll mm -hmm. give you more information on Monday, and so we you can provide with more things to make your alibi. So. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to take you more time. I know one hour flies, but we're going to continue practicing. I want these classes to be practiced as much as we can so we can speak and speak and speak and speak. All right. So uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for joining to the class. Um, we're going to join again on Monday. Remember that tomorrow we have off. Work in your... Um, in the platform, work in the exercise. If you have any question, please reach out through uh, through WhatsApp. Uh, I will help you out. I send you the books there. If anybody's interested in reading one of those, that will be good. If you have any questions of those books as well, let me know. Vocabulary, let me know. Whatever you need uh, in regards of English, let me know, okay? So thank you very much. Have a good night. Uh, have a nice and super good uh, weekend. And we're going to see you Monday. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Take care, Thank everybody. You. See you Monday. Good see you night. Monday. Take care. Take care. Good night. Yes? Take care, bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Teacher. Yes? Uh, I am Selena. Ah, hi, 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 Selena. Tell me. <laughs> Eh, en español, perdón, eh, ayer no me pude incorporar a la clase y estaba viendo que no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Eh, ya le, si quiere le voy a, a, voy a detener aquí la...